Hello and welcome to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be going through this. This is the brand new crystal grip for your Nintendo Switch OLED from Skull & Co. Now they just keep releasing new products far quicker than anyone else. They've made the Switch OLED Jump Gate Dock, the Neo Grip, the Neo Grip Limited Edition, Xbox Audio Box, and then finally this, the crystal grip, all in the space of a few weeks. So I received this grip after taking only a few days to arrive from China, and it got to the UK with me, along with the limited edition Neo Grip in the Animal Crossing color and I will look at this in a separate video. But for those of you who bought a Neo Grip recently and are wondering about the Crystal Grip, we'll talk about that in the video as soon as we hit the tech desk. So please do subscribe, so I'm going to be doing a video comparing this, the Crystal Grip, with the Neo Grip. So if you haven't bought either, then you can work out which one is best for you. That's coming up soon. So join me as I put this down on the tech desk, turn up the lights and go through the Crystal Grip case for your Nintendo Switch OLED from Skull & Co. Hello, welcome down onto the tech desk. And before we do anything else, I'd like to first address the concerns that some of you I know will have. And I know a lot of people bought this, the Neo Grip, and rightly so, it is amazing. But with the Crystal Grip coming out, you may feel like you should have bought this instead of this one. But let me start by saying both are excellent. You cannot go wrong with either of them. Both are different beasts though, with different features through both. And if bought singly, they are pretty cheap on their own. So if you do own a Neo Grip, it's going to cost you very little to get a Crystal Grip as well. Or instead, as you already have these three sets of interchangeable grips. And if you look on the website, the Crystal Grip and the Neo Grip on their own is really cheap. So I'm making a video soon and I'm going to be comparing both the Crystal Grip and the Neo Grip. So if you are new, do subscribe and we'll go through them both. But as I said, you can't go wrong with either. Now we've talked about the new grip, let's talk about this, the grip case. So this is the grip case OLED model for, from Skull & Co. And this is the box it comes in. So this comes with the body and the three pairs of grips. Now I've already got a Max Carry, so I don't need that. And I'll talk to you about it fitting in the Max Carry. So that's it, picture of it on the front, flip it over, all about it on the back there. But I'll, I'll talk to you through this in a minute. And then when you get out, if you've got the other crystal grip for the original Switch, it feels very similar. It feels similar material, but on the website it says it's anti-yellow, so this won't go yellow. This, this is my original uh, Skull & Co uh, crystal grip, and as you can see, it's absolutely battered from being used, and it hasn't got particularly yellow in my eyes. Um, so I've been using this for months, so I've got high hopes for this, and they say it's anti-yellow, so I believe them, but only time will tell. Feels very flexible, decent level of protection. When you feel it, it feels like really good quality. Really like that. And then we have these grips on here, which we'll talk about. So the first thing is first, I'm gonna put the, the switch in, but I wanna tell you about one of the upgrades and it's over here. So these bits here are kind of like, they're what they call floating trigger buttons. And in the last one, so certainly in the, the original one, you see these triggers here, they were attached to this. So they're made of the same material. They've taken them off and now they're in kind of like a separate piece that you clip in. Okay, so you, you pop that in there like that, and you get that one, and you pop that in there like that. And then let's put the, the switch in. And the way you do that is you pop it in the top, as always, pop it in the top, make sure that goes in, and then down there like that. It's on there, and it's fantastic. It is like having another button there, and it's very, very satisfying. There's no kind of delay because it sits on the triggers. Very nice fit indeed. This is a brilliant upgrade. I mean, I didn't have a problem with this. I thought this was okay. I thought this, this worked well for me. I thought it was good. Um, I know a few people had a couple of issues with it, but however, this is phenomenal. It's irresponsive and it feels great. And while we're here, I just thought I would try. I don't think it, you were meant to, but let's try it. What I did was I popped them out. So I popped them out, pop this back in. You can, you can use these, brilliant, okay? So ZL and ZR, yeah, fantastic. You can use them really well. These are a bit kind of sunken down a little bit. You can still use them, but it's a bit more of an effort. But if you didn't want to use them, you can use them if you want to, but it's not intended for that. So don't do that, we'll stick one in. But it does work if you want to. Going around it on the top, we have all the buttons all beautifully lined up, all the spaces as they should be on the top and the bottom. And then on the back, as we can see, 
we've got our two grips. Now, if you didn't know this, Skull & Co do, they have these grips here. They have three types of grips. They have these, the plus grips, these are the trigger grips, and these are the snap grips, okay? So I call them large, trigger, and small, just because that's the way I think about it. My favorites are the triggers because I just like it and I think it's more comfortable and they're interchangeable. Now, if you didn't know already, that it's interchangeable between any of the switch grips that they do, okay? This is uh, a, a, the um, one for the original switch and it fits on there perfectly. So like I was saying before, if you've already got a, a load of these, you wanna buy this, you could just buy the body really cheap and then just stick your, your colored grips on there. So as I was saying, this is my favorite, which is the trigger. This is also, it comes with the plus grips. So these are much larger. So you can get your, wrap your hand around that. It's so comfy, really, really comfy. And then we have the smaller ones, which are called the snap grips. The times that I use these are if I want to take it in a smaller case. So if you've got a small case, so you haven't got a Mac carry and you've got the, kind of got like a power A case or something like that, this will fit in there, no problem, because it doesn't add too much of a footprint, but still a decent enough grip for them. But as I said, 90% of the time, I'm using these, the trigger grips. And if you look at the grips themselves, the triggers and the plus, they have these lovely dimples on there that gives a little bit of friction to hold, and the snap grips have ridges on them. So again, a little bit of friction for when you're holding them. So you can put them on there like that, or if you want to, uh, you can put them on like that. Entirely up to you. I love this system. I haven't found a grip that is more comfier than these trigger grips. I absolutely love these trigger grips. And then we can go and put the trigger grips from the Animal Crossing colors, if that's what you want. Love it. And now if you look, you're gonna get some decent protection. You're not gonna get much protection from these sticks, admittedly, but everything else, lovely protection around there. So if you did want to protect the back of your switch and the top of your switch, there's gonna be no issues there at all. Decent level of protection. And then while we've got it on the back, one of the downsides on this is you can't use the kickstand. We'll talk about that when we do the comparison video with the Neo Grip. So you haven't got access to the kickstand, but they've incorporated that in the Max Carry, which I'll talk about in a bit. I also wanted to talk about you, can it be docked? Well, I've got two docks here. This is the OLED dock and this is the um, jump gate dock. Uh, yes, it can. It's designed to be docked. So it is fully supported to be docked and I hope you can tell the, the amount of space that's actually in there. So it docks really, really easily, okay? And then we have the jump gate dock. Easy. Well, what you'll need to do with the jump gate dock is flip it over, pull them out, and just set that to with case. And that just extends this a little bit so you can fit it on with the case. And it also is compatible with the original dock as well if you're using that with your OLED. So once you've got it in the dock, have a look. If you'll be using the USBs, you'll be able to use the bottom USB on all of the grips, and you'll be able to use both USBs by using the snap grip. Next up, we're gonna be talking about cases. Now, I hope if you've already bought a Skull & Co grip, you've bought the Max Carry case. I think it is fantastic. Thing is, there's two types of Max Carry case. There is a larger one and a smaller one. The smaller one is for the original Nintendo Switch grip, and this won't fit into that. What you need is the Max Carry case that comes with this, obviously, or the Max Carry case which comes with the crystal grip for the original Switch. That is a bigger version. So this is for my uh, crystal grip for my original switch. And as with the others, you open up the flaps, you pop it in there. Perfect fit. And then space under here for anything else you might wanna put in. Or if you wanna carry away your jump dock. And the beauty of this, this case is, because there's no kickstand with this, this is what these flaps are designed for. You have them up like that, and then you pop that in there, and you've got enough room for charging, and it's kind of like a desktop stand with either of the grips in. So in summary then, this is a fantastic grip. Super comfortable, made possible by 
these brilliant trigger grips, the plus and the snaps as well. Really good case. Please do subscribe because I've been doing the comparison between this and the Neo Grip. Both are phenomenal, but obviously they've got some differences like dockable and uh, more protection on this. But I'll go through that entirely in the video. And I'm also going to be comparing this with other grips as well once they come. Okay, really, really nice grip. Very, very pleased with this. And I'll also leave links down below where you can get hold of this and all the other grips. There we have it then, that was my look at this, the Crystal Grip from Skull & Co. Like I said in the video, if you've got the Neo Grip, brilliant, the Neo Grip is absolutely fantastic, and I'm gonna be doing a comparison video between the Neo Grip and this. But if this is one you want to get, and you've already got the Neo Grip, and you're a bit, mm, I should've got this, go and have a look on the website, because at the moment there's a little bit of money off, and it's not expensive anyway, if you just get the grip, because you're gonna get these bits anyway. Do go and have a look. Um, a fantastic case, as ever, um, and until the next video, bye-bye.